Let's feed all of my pets in one video. We've got over 20 reptiles, let's go. Oh yeah. The joy with all this sort of stuff is, the animals know it's feeding day. I mean, check out popcorn, just sat there waiting for it. This is gonna be a good day. Right, let's run through what we've got and how we're gonna feed it. First off, we've got some gut-loaded superworms from my superworm breeding farm. If you wanna know more about breeding your own superworms, click on um, the card just above now, and that'll take you straight through to uh, how to breed your own superworms. You have also got two tubs of crickets and a little tub of locusts to go along with it. So, that's for the live food, the insectivore eating reptiles. And we've also got an absolute shed load of rodents for all the snakes. We've got car uh, popcorn, the sunglow boa. We've got Rosie, the red tail boa. We've got Xena, the big rescue boa. Uh, a couple of baby boa constrictors, uh, a raw pipe, and loads of snakes to feed as well. With the insectivore diets, we've got Hugo, the boss monitor, uh, the savannah monitor. We have got uh, Diego, the bearded dragon. We've got a load of leopard geckos, some leopard gecko babies. Yeah, we've got a lot of animals to feed along with a few other tarantulas and a few invertebrates as well. This is gonna be a good day. First off, we're gonna feed Hugo, the savannah monitor. We've got our calcium, we've got our tub, we've got our live food, let's go. I've added enrichment for Hugo. Oh look, he does look eager. Check that out, he's coming out for me. <laughs> right, for a bit of added enrichment, I'm just simply going to get the tub, take the lid off, and let him chase. misconceptions about savannah monitors is their diet most people feed them on meat and stuff like that but it's just not what they eat they are an insectivore by nature that's what they eat you go you can have just a couple more and then that's you done mate there you go oh there's one Budoosh. wait come on <laughs> next let's head over into the actual reptile room and feed the um, adult leopard geckos. I've only just brought the live food in here and Hugo's going mental. Donna's just thought, I know, it's food time, so she's poked her head out the uh, lay box. We've got the male breeder left gecko as well. Let's drop some lo locusts and some crickets in for him. Drop some more over that back corner there. And we'll leave him to run around going hunting. Can you see him properly running around and jumping around? He's loving it back there. We've got an amazing pokey Lutheria regalis tarantula in uh, that, this enclosure just here. Uh, but he's never out and about, so we just have to drop a locust in there for him, and then when he's ready, he'll come out and have a mull around and get it. Ego really is getting quite antsy, so it's time for him. There, all the way down that bottom corner is a female ghost mantis. I've got a cricket, let's see if I'll have a cricket. I've never had a cricket in its life and um, see what happens. Come on, off my fingers. Cricket stuck to me. There we go. And we'll see if he takes it. She's seen it, but she hasn't took it. So I'll leave it in there for. Oh, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? You can see her moving at the back and. Bang! She has got an absolutely amazing um, upgrade coming soon. She's going to be going into uh, this Exotero Nano. Shall we go and check on the rodents, see if they're thawed out enough 
uh, to feed the snakes. In. That was entertaining. Last time she got me, so this time she never. So that's a bonus. But the good thing with that raw pike, and she has never missed a meal. Um, that's that can only be a good thing. Let's go on to some baby boas. Again, they like to bite me. God, I wish I had my proper big tongs. And um, I've left them at my partner's house from when I fed their snake. But not these stupid little forceps. So I am going to get bit. There's one done, let's move on to the next one. This is her setup, this is a salmon boash baby. She's over there on top of her heart, you can see her head poking out, just there. Um, just up there. So uh, let's give her a feed. How many are gonna count? You don't get me. Oh, you donk, you missed it. She missed it, did you see that, guys? There we go. So those pair are probably gonna get two rat pups each. Um, shall we see if the Pac-Man frog wants one? Uh, yeah, just go away. Well, that was the first fail of the day the Pac-Man frog never fed, so I'll try him again in a couple of days and just see what happens there. Shall we do the giant Vietnamese scorpion? Just in this tub just here, one there, one there. He was out and about the other day. If you follow me on Instagram, at Northern Exotics UK, you would have seen this one, because he was out and about, but he'll be under there somewhere. And, uh, the whole consensus is try and launch a super worm down there and see if he'll come out and get it. That went totally wrong. He'll be under there somewhere, so we've got a super worm and try and launch it under there. That didn't go very well. That really didn't go very well either, to be fair. So, we'll try again. Oh, there he is. Whoa, look at that, guys. How's that for enrichment? Just got to move everything out of the way. Oh, has he got the superworm underneath that leaf? I don't know, but at least you got this. Oh, there he is. Oh yeah, he's got the superworm. We get in there, Vernon. Should we have a go with some tarantulas now? So this guy, a Brachypalma albipolosum, unsexed, recently shed a week ago. So this will be his first feed, and I think he's now at the size where I can start feeding him a superworm. So um, he's going up from Morio worms, uh, from mealworms to superworms. And uh, we'll just see what happens. I've got the lid slightly off. I have got a superworm in the forceps. Lid off. Look at how beautiful he is. And we'll drop the superworm down. Oh, God, he's... Oh, oh. What about that, guys? How amazing is that? Bracky Palmy, Bracky Palma, I'll be blossom. Captive bred as well. How stunning is that? Right, should we move on to the next one? Well, this one, again, is exactly the same. It's a Brachypalmy, Brachypalma albipolosum. Um, she's very, very quick. She's dual moles, I think, but she's an escape artist, so I've got the catch cup with me ready. Um, we'll just see what happens. She looks hungry, I can tell you that much, but I don't want her to nip me, so uh, bear with me while I just get the lid off. Hopefully without a chew in my face. God, she, she normally she's in a burrow, but she's proper out and about. She's just under there at the minute. Um, so try and get the lid off without causing too much hassle to her. Oh God. Ha. Huh. Yeah, she's, uh, I don't think she's big enough for a super worm yet. So uh, I'll have to get a meal worm for her. Right, right, I think this last corner. There you go, the lid's off. Um, I'll show you dead quick, catch cups in the hand. There she is, no, she is big enough for a super worm. So, um, I'll quickly grab a super worm and drop it in for her. Right. Oh, God, she is big when she splays out like, oh, success. How about that, guys? How about that? So now it's popcorn's turn, our Carl Sunglow Bower. We've got the rat. Now, this is a bit nervous for me, this one, because check out what happened last time I fed her. Yeah, check that out. Uh, she was so close to my hand and it was scary. We eventually sorted it and she fed perfectly fine. But this time, 
I haven't got those tongs. I've got these poxy stupid little things. I could get bit by a fairly big boa here. Now popcorn, are you gonna be good today? Are you gonna be good? It's a simple question, I, oh God. She's proper on about. Are you gonna be good, mate? Come on, mate, are you gonna be good? Right, how am I gonna do this? Because I don't wanna get bit by you, and these tongs are tiny, mate. Oh God, you're coming out. Right, ah, gonna have to move away. Dun, dun. Don't get my hands, don't get my hands, don't get my hands. No, popcorn, you're coming too high. No, oh. You were coming too high, look, it's on the floor just there for you, mate. It's on the floor just there for you. Ah. Right, I ain't going near you when you're in that posture, mate. You need to calm the down. You need to calm the down. It's just there for you, mate, you can get it. Let's see, it's just over there. Go and get it. Oh, look at how he's coiled up, ready to get me. Jesus. Come on, man. Come on. You were tame at one point. Come on. You absolute. You can see it, mate. Just go for it. Just go for it. Do I have to come and get the snake up for you, mate? Right. Whoa. That was just the snake up. I'm not going to get bit by you. I've got to go to work, mate. I can't go to work with a big bite on my hand. I know it's going to be a love bite, but I ain't going to do it, mate. I'm just not. Are you going to go and have a bite to eat now? Oh, has he found it? I think he's had a good find. Oh, has he found it? If he has, it saves me getting bit. God, I'm such a pansy, guys. Comment below. Hashtag pansy. Oh, that's his tail, mate. That's his tail. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. You didn't have to strike it like that, you know, you donk. You're just squashing it now, it's going to explode. I think I've just come to the conclusion that it's not safe for me to feed these big snakes without my proper tongs. So, um, I'm just going to drop feed them, I think. You ready, Rosie? I'll go back and check on her. Um, just before I finish doing everything, just to check on her. But check out Pop, still messing around with the tail. Huh. So now we've got the dreaded, the biggest snake of them all, Xena, and she's got the biggest rat, and I'm just gonna drop it straight in and hope she doesn't come out. Because I really don't want it to come out and get me. Let's go give the two baby boas another one each. Check it out, xena has got hers. Here's the salmon boa again. There's the head again, and uh, let's see if she'll take another. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> there you are, mate. So, yeah, this girl's after another one. You can see her head just there, and uh, let's try it. She might come straight out and get me, though. Bonus, she took it perfectly. Check it out, I've got all my fingers, no bite marks or anything. Woo, success. Everything fed, except for the Pac-Man Frog, which I'll try that in a couple of days. How awesome was that, guys? Thanks for tuning in. If you've enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up button, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Peace.